Well, Scott, we finally ended that winning run, winless run, sorry. Um, how are all the boys feeling after that? Oh, they're delighted. Um, it's been, like I say, a long time coming. Um, but the last few games, the boys have put it out there. Um, put it on the line, blocks. We've looked to win at Halifax and it wasn't, it wasn't to be. Um, and today, it was one of those games, it's, probably, it's not the prettiest game to watch, but it was never going to be. The teams, where they are and the form we were in, it's about getting three points and that's, that's what it's going to be like now through the end of the season. It's about picking up wins rather than how good the performances can be. Um, but that's massive for us because, like I say, it's been a long time coming and we've got that monkey off our back now of not having that win for so long. Um, and we can look forward to Gates next week now coming off a win for the first time in a long time. Let's go to that red card. You're an experienced player. You don't strike me as the silliest player either. You've got the captain's armband on. You're not going to do anything to put the result in jeopardy. And future games jeopardy by not being involved. So what happened with, with the Lions? Yeah, first and foremost, I've got to apologise because it could have cost the team. Whatever was said, um, whatever was done, it, 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 could have, it could have affected the boys um, and it put us under pressure, I'd imagine. Um, and so I've got to apologise to every single fan that come out here, the boys in there, the staff, because me, me getting seen a bit of red mist for a second and that, that's not good enough. No matter how the circumstances and there were circumstances around it, on my behalf, um, I, I shouldn't have reacted like I said. I've, I've been around long enough to know better, and like I said, now we, we can go forward, and there definitely will be a report put in because the way well, I have a feeling on it, and obviously the, the the officials have a feeling on it. Yeah, what I've said, it's not the nicest thing, but it's it's, it's definitely not the worst thing you'll ever heard on that pitch today either. Is it just another one of those words of passing comment you can hear every game? Yeah, absolutely. You, you, I, I've heard worse coming from the stand, um, aimed at me, aimed at other players. Or like I say, it's, it's a passing comment because um, that's what it was. I, I asked them. It started off. I asked them a polite question uh, in a respectful manner about their striker standing in front of our goalkeeper, um, and he looked at me and didn't answer. So I said to him about being arrogant, in, in, also in a respectful manner. I said, "You can't be arrogant." I said, "Your linesman in a conference game. We're players in conference games. It's not the Premier League. Don't be arrogant." Uh, he looked at me, he didn't say a word. Um, so their life walked away, left it at that, and then their left backs walked over and they were in full dialogue within a couple of seconds. And that's when the red missed come. It was wrong from my behalf. Um, and like I said, I'd like to apologise for that. And I said something I shouldn't have said, but for me, there's, there's a lot more to the story. But we won't know that until later on in the week. Do you hope the club plan to appeal it? Yeah, I hope so, yeah. I said I spoke to the gaffer, I spoke to the other staff, and um, yeah, that's hopefully something we can we can look to do Monday morning. Okay, well, and going back to the game, like I say, it was a pretty, but you take a goal coming in off, off someone's backside and from a yard out yeah, just to win the game. Absolutely, that's, that's the state we're in right now. Um, we're going to take it off anything, a scrappy 1-0, and that's exactly what that was. Um, it's not going to be pr pretty between now and the end of the season, but it doesn't need to be. It's about picking up wins. Um, and we've built on the result um, and the performance, if you like, at, at Halifax. I thought we were solid there. Um, we had a good couple of chances late on, um, but we weren't able to take them. But today, fortunately, Grant has put one away for us and we've held on, um, even though the circumstances around myself being a little bit silly. Um, the boys have dug me out of a hole for the last 10, 15 minutes or whatever it was. Um, and this needs to now be the springboard um, going forward for the rest of the year, because every, every game from now on uh, is a cup final. They did look solid as well, didn't they? Like you said, even before you got sent off in the last five, there was a lot thrown at us, wasn't there? But we dealt with everything quite well. Yeah, there, there was the last two games since we've tweaked it slightly. Um, as a forward looking back, you've, you haven't got that so much worry in your body now. Um, when teams are trying to attack us, um, we look more solid, more organised. Obviously, Big George has come there as a massive help. Um, he's helping the young, younger lads around him. But I thought also Josh and Rolls have both stepped up to the plate as well in both games. And um, as a collective whole, we can see we're putting it on the line for each other today um, and last week. Uh, and like I say, today's a massive point, uh, massive, massive three points going into the next week now. Well, I'll let you get back in so I can see you shooting yeah, a bit. It was nice and warm earlier, but it's yeah. cold now. So cheers for your time. Thank Scott. you very Thank much. You for that. Cheers. cheers.